Hey everyone, I'm Doug. Today I just wanted to talk to you, short video about what to do if you get a cap, a 5950 that's a little bit too big. Um, that can happen for a couple of reasons in my experience. Number one, maybe I ordered a special cap that I can only find online and uh, couldn't find in my local store. Um, sometimes you get them out of the box and you've ordered what is your normal size, but for whatever reason it's a little too big and, and the fit is loose. Secondly, if you've watched my other videos, I advocate using a hat jack to stretch caps to fit your, uh, the shape of your head a little bit better. And um, sometimes you can take that a little bit too far. You do it too many times or a little bit, uh, expand it a little bit far. You can end up with a size that's a little bit too big. So uh, I'll talk to you a little bit today about how to recover from that if you have either one of those things happen um, and you want to keep the cap. It's a pretty simple technique. It doesn't create a dramatic amount of shrinkage, but uh, I found that it works for me to get a little bit back in the cap and recover a little bit. Uh, maybe you can think of about an eighth of a size getting that back into the cap, so to get it snug around the sides and just a better overall fit. So stay tuned, we'll walk through that. Here are a couple of baseball caps where I've done this uh, procedure recently. Um, re the equipment is really simple to do this. All you need is a water spray bottle, um, an empty spray bottle that you can pick up at places like Target or a pharmacy like Walgreens. You should be able to find those there. And also our standard uh, hair dryer. Uh, really simple. So what you're doing by adding these two pieces of equipment is you got both moisture and heat here and that's always the key to manipulating any fabric. So these two caps happen to be wool. So wool is always uh, more prone to shrinkage than polyester, which is the other common new era uh, 5950 material. You should be successful with both, but I think wool naturally shrinks a little bit more, especially when it's unsupported, um, if you don't have anything inside of it. Uh, so these do shrink a little bit better than the polyester. But I have noticed shrinkage with polyester as well, uh, which is in the standard on-field caps now. So. so to get this ready with the water, I'm just going to use my sprayer here and uh, get some water on these four back panels of the cap. I'm going to avoid putting it on the front two panels. Those have the buckram anyway, so they're not going to shrink a whole lot. Um, and then always try and keep your visor as dry as possible because once that gets moisture, tends not to be as durable as it once was. So just going to really easy spray these four panels until you get some decent buildup of water on the surface. Um, you can gradually repeat this process or add more water each time you do it, but I'm just going to get a decent amount on here now. So now we'll move on to the heat. Okay, now that we got the moisture prepped on these panels of the cap, just go ahead and I've got this on high heat. And I'll give myself a good amount of airflow here. And essentially, I'm just going to run this until the cap feels completely dry. So I don't need to film all that for you. So uh, I'm just going to keep going until this is dry. And then we'll take another look. All right, so I've done that once. Um, sprayed it with water, dried it once. Uh, I tried to hold the visor most of the time so that this fabric was free to dry up. You don't want to have anything inside of it because that'll just keep it stretched and formed. Um, the one thing that also you're fighting against when you do this is if you've stretched a cap with a hat jack or similar, uh, there is a plastic sizing band in there, and that's actually what it's called is sizing. Um, when you've heat shaped and stretched that, uh, it does have a tendency not to come back very easily. So in this water bottle and hair dryer technique, we're really just trying to use the fabric to draw everything back together. And that's where you get most of the improvement. Um, for this cap, this was really big when I first put it on my head after stretching it. And then I had to do this process maybe three or four times and it gradually draws it back in. So I've gotten it back to a good fit and I think we're in pretty good shape now. Coming back to the three caps that I wanted to talk about today, these two on the outside, I used the water bottle and hair dryer technique, um, got it to draw in on those four panels uh, like I wanted, so it wasn't loose and floppy and I had good conformance on the side here. 
This was a retro classic 5950. I've got it to a good point now um, where I've got good alignment with my head. It's very comfortable. Um, and that was all done. I overstretched it a little bit and I got it back with the water bottle and hair dryer. Uh, the one other thing that I wanted to mention was this uh, Cardinal's cap in the center. This was sort of an accidental discovery about shrinking caps that I had a couple of years ago. Um, I had worn this out in the snow and usually what I do if uh, clothing gets a uh, winter coat, gets coated with snow, whatever else I have on, I'll just throw it in the dryer really quick and I just absentmindedly tossed in the baseball cap with the rest of my stuff. Um, came out on the other end and you can imagine what happens to a wool baseball cap that's gotten wet and you throw in the dryer, it gets pretty beat up and it shrinks quite a bit. So this cap, I believe that I actually had to sh uh, stretch it again a little bit. It was a pretty good fit before, maybe a little loose, so I didn't mind the shrinkage, but you can kind of see what happened here is that there's a lot of uh, detail here where the, the four panels on the back here, without that buckram to reinforce, they just kind of pulled together at the seams. So there's a lot of uh, maybe what I might call puckering, I guess, along the seams. So this is kind of what happens when you go for a little bit more extreme shrinkage. That's why I try and stay away from doing that. But this was um, uh, pretty wet and then exposed to long-term heat in a clothes dryer. So um, not something I recommend. I far more prefer the, um, the spray bottle and the hair dryer, but you may have to do it three or four times until you get what you want. So anyways, I uh, hope this helps you out a little bit and uh, good luck if you want to try it. And other than that, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.